right, hey guys, uh, we're here today. Um, we're going to be establishing a um, peripheral ID on our patient here. Um, her name is Ivy Needed. And so we're gonna go ahead and get started. Um, first of all, I'm going to make sure that throughout these procedures I'm administrating all of my meds um, with uh, the six rights, patient rights in mind, um, being the right patient, the right dose, the right time, um, the right route, the right med, and um, the right documentation as well. So um, in order to get started, I'm going to first check my doctor's orders in the MAR. Um, we have a doctor's order here for initiating an IV of 0.9% normal saline, um, a thousand milliliters and he would like it to be infused over six hours so um, so we're going to make sure that we have all of our materials here uh, I have my solution um, I definitely want to make sure that it's not expired I want to make sure it's the right color I want to make sure there aren't any particulates in the bag um, and that the bag is intact and we're good to go to use that and then um, I'm gonna also want to make sure that it's the correct solution for the doctor's order so once I kind of get that in order I'm going to um, create a label for my bag um, on that label I'm going to um, make sure that my drop factor is listed in this case it's gonna be about 28 drops per minute over six hours we're starting at about 105, so it'll um, be done about 705. Um, the so basically the way we uh, calculated it out was um, the drop drop factor here is 10 for the tubing, um, which is 167 milliliters per hour, leaving us with about seven drops per 15 seconds, or 28 drops a minute. So, with all that being said. Um, I'm going to go ahead and open my, open my solution, ready, and probably making sure the bag is intact after you get it out of its protective covering, and again, looking for particulates, etc. Um, and I'm probably not going to throw this label on there until I get it hung so that I get it hung at the correct level. Um, I don't know if I mentioned on this label that you're also going to want to um, have the patient identifier, room number, date, time, obviously that we started at my initials and then the lot number of the IV. So we're going to go ahead and I guess from there we can hang this. so that you can see the um, see the label on the front of this just in case okay we're just gonna do that <laughs> so um, then I'm gonna go ahead and um, make sure that I've identified my patient in the room um, they, she can, if she can identify herself, um, I can verify with her medical record number. Um, but I, there needs to be two different methods of identification for her in order for that to be all right. So I'm going to explain my procedure to her, explain to her that we're going to go ahead and start an IV, um, tell her why, ask if she has any questions. And um, before I get too carried away here, make sure that all her questions are answered. Um, and then I'm going to go ahead and get my tubing set up. 
the biggest thing with this tubing is just making sure that you maintain the sterility of the ends. So with this, I'm gonna make sure that I have my tubing clamp so it doesn't drip everywhere after I spike it. Make sure my valve is closed. And I'm gonna go ahead and make sure that this is clean. I'm just gonna go ahead and wipe this off. I did just take it out of its sterile covering, but I just wanna make sure we're good there. Making sure I have all my things closed, I can go ahead and spike the bag. And then I can go ahead and fill my drip chamber. Right that way. Okay. I want to make sure there's no air in my tubing, so I'm going to go ahead and just uncap the end, again maintaining sterility, and I'm going to go ahead and unclamp, cram my tubing, get all the air out. So I've already calculated my drop factor. And so at this time, I could go ahead and pre-set um, my drop factor on my tubing if I wanted to. Which I think we calculated at. So seven drops every 15 seconds. So I can go ahead and do that. I'm gonna use a timer or a clock to put the seconds down on it. My nice friend over there is gonna tell me when 15 seconds is up or when to start. Go ahead. Fifteen. Is that right about there? You want to do it one more time? Sure. Okay. Ready? Yep. Start. And stop. Perfect. You're right on. Okay. So then after we do that, we can just um, clamp this off so that we have that all ready to go when we get the patient's um, catheter in and then we can just get it started. Okay. So making sure to maintain sterility on the end, I'm going to make sure that doesn't touch the ground. Make sure we've got the cap on and everything. And it's 